15 LSU, taking on number 16 Florida. The setting is ominous. Befitting its nickname. These days, it's Rex who's making the air down here dizzy with passes. But the ball from the bayou may have the means to ground Mr. Grossman in this classic clash at the swamp. And out of the tunnel to the south, the home folks are getting the into it. Here come the Gators. So tonight, here in Gainesville, East takes on West. It's Florida playing host to LSU. Kickoff not far away. ESPN's College Football Saturday Night, presented by the United States Postal Service. Supermarket. Stamps. By phone. Stamps. Online. Stamps. At ATMs. Along with your local post office. Wherever you find this symbol, you'll find stamps. Conveniently located. Brought to you by the United States Postal Service. Some 
tape on him uh, last week's ball game, and he's throwing the ball a lot better than everybody gives him credit for. Was a professional baseball player. Was going to go to Michigan State, drafted for the Cubs, went and played in the Cubs organization. A 24-year-old rookie starter. Throws his first pass, has it complete. It's going to be a, a short game, I'm going to say about three yards. Thrown to Solomon Lee, and here are the starting lineups. Davis, the tailback. Solomon Lee, who just caught the ball. Myers and Clayton, dangerous on the outside. Eric Edwards is the tight end, more of a blocker. In the offensive line, this is a solid group. They like the left side as far as running behind Whitworth and Peterman. Whitworth, a redshirt freshman out of West Monroe.
LSU. That is their first timeout of this half. So LSU calls a timeout. And with 12.06 left to play in his opening quarter, we'll be right back with more from Gainesville. Reviewing our last fiscal year, the numbers from January were slightly better than the numbers from February. However, the numbers in January were identical to the numbers in March. The numbers in April were slightly lower than the numbers in March, but identical. Like playing games? Come to Best Buy, where you can play the latest video games and try out a lot of other cool stuff. Best Buy. Go ahead. Turn on the fun. This is my brother Andrew. Got in practice. The boys and I share a love for baseball, so we took a little trip this summer. This is me acting really goofy. We went to four different major league ballparks in the Hall of Fame. They brought back lots of pictures. I would only put these in the hands of people at Walmart. You can afford to take more pictures with Walmart because the prices are great. And we sent a couple of pictures to Heidi's dad online. We got to run the bases at Double Day Field. That was awesome. I think the boys had a great time. And we have these pictures to remind us of it. Yeah. You have the ultimate power to look better, to be stronger, to redefine your body and yourself. Introducing the Bowflex Ultimate. Gonna make you possibly the best home fitness machine ever made. In as little as 20 minutes a day, three times a week, you can get real results that can change your entire body. With over 90 health club quality exercises and up to 410 pounds of resistance, it's like having an entire gym in your home. Bowflex is so effective that we guarantee you'll get the results you want in six weeks or less. Own the new Bowflex Ultimate with no money down and monthly payments lower than many health club dues. Call and ask for a free video and brochure and check out the entire Bowflex lineup. Or visit us on the web today. The new Bowflex. Welcome back to the Swamp. By the way, first time LSU has allowed a third down conversion in the last 26 attempts. That last play just a moment ago. They go with a running play, almost like a Statue of Liberty to Tarzan. And it's going to go for very short yardage. He is knocked down, in fact, at the line of scrimmage. Tackled by Marcus Spears. Ron, Marcus Spears is a great high school basketball player, great high school football player. Shows you his ability on that play. It looked like Carthon was going to get the corner, but Marcus Spear cut him off. Second down, it was a gain of about a half yard. Early going in the first quarter, LSU 1 2 3 and out. And now the Gators on offense for the first time. And after that kick return, it is a great situation to take it over inside the opponent's 50. Pitch comes back, Graham. With a head high tackle ran right out of the shoe, and Mark D. Hill is the man who was in hot pursuit. And the LSU coaches wanted to fumble on that football. Option play, Rex Grossman coming down, kicking the ball to Ernest Graham, and LSU runs very well. Ball came out, but after he was down. You could also see number 11, Brady James. We talked about how much you would see him around the football tonight. He was there to help as well. I talked to Ernest Graham before the game. He said his ankle is still bothering him, but uh, he's a warrior. He's not going to come out of that lineup. They have been using Carthon more because of that injury to Graham. Also, we could see Willie Green tonight. Third down. They need to take it to the 20. Deep over the middle. Got a man and just over through Jacobs. Boy, Taylor was there. The senior out of Monticello had him on a post route and just overthrew it a bit. And again, he had pressure on him. It's a good call, though, by Ed Zombrecker because he kept everybody in and blocked. Taylor Jacobs open on the post, and Rex Grossman just couldn't get it to him. Not going to see him miss many like that. Comes a field goal attempt that will be placed down at the 32. So a 42-yard attempt by Leach. His longest, 41. Good pass. Ball is down. It's a fake. Got a man wide open at the 10-yard line. Carthon, he overthrew it. I mean, Carthon looked like the first guy out to the workout. Well, you got to throw that, and you got to put air under the football and let him run in it. Don't under it. Don't overthrow him. He had a sure touchdown and just threw it away. Jeff Whitaker on the pass, trying to get the ball to Carthon and just overthrew it. That's, that was six points. He was 
so wide open. Look at Ron. <laughs> and I'm sure across the way. Bumping at the snap. Moth gets right back on the football. I'm sure on the far sideline that uh, there were some deep breaths being taken over there because they could see Carthon breaking open on the fake field goal attempt. Ron, when you come off that old Miss game that they had last week, and everything was a downer and they lost that football game they need something good to happen to them because they're still basically a young football team under a new coach three wide receivers come to the left the bottom of your screen locks up the throw and he swings it out to his back and across the 26 and now a flag comes in as davis caught the ball and then defensively some quick help from pro marty and his friends in the back on Eric Edwards. Holding LSU. Yeah, Eric Edwards was out front of that little screen pass and got caught holding on Bam Hardman, the middle linebacker. Here's the play. Here's what the official saw. He called the holding on Edwards, number 47. As we mentioned in the lineup, the uh, the tight ends for LSU have been primarily blockers. The whole group together has only caught three passes this year. Yeah, they, they've always had a tight end to catch the football. Royal, also uh, DiMaggio, they've had some big targets. On third down, flag comes in late, pass right over the middle, and that goes to the tight end, Edwards. His way to around the 32, maybe the 33. They heard you. That's right. <laughs> that always happens, doesn't it? <laughs> Jimbo Fisher, the offensive coordinator, must have heard you say they only thrown three to him, uh, so they get him a fourth. So a motion penalty against LSU. Nick Saban, a little frustrated right now. Somewhat of a rocky start here for uh, for his offensive team. He's got to find a way to slow Florida's speed down. Florida's very fast on defense. Got to neutralize the speed. Talking to Ron Zuck the other day, he said they gave up 30 points to Kentucky in special teams, so they want to be better in special teams tonight. Isn't it amazing that they gave up that many points and still won the ball game? Yeah, right. and, and they gave up seven already here because they had a sure touchdown on that fake field goal. Boy, did they ever. Jones with his second punt. This is a better kick. It is a line drive and returnable. This is Ratliff on the 24. Runs into his own man. And it caught, no, not caught from behind. One flag, two flags. And he'll be stopped at the 43. Lejeune is the man who was there to make the tackle. Forty-three on the kick and nineteen on the return. So in the early going on this one, it has uh, been mistake filled by both ball clubs. Sloppy. an Ole Miss game uh, like Florida has done, you need a win here in your own home ballpark. Now, Nick Saban on the other side of the field saw Auburn lose today, so uh, he's got a chance to take a step forward in the West. Houston Nunn and his staff getting their first conference win after a tough loss in a six-overtime game up in Knoxville last week. Well, you got to tell, you got to say uh, a job well done uh, to, to that coaching staff because that team had a roller coaster ride last Saturday and came back and, and won a big ball game against the Cadillac. What the tally at over 200 yards today? Jones played extremely Jones played well, really well. Florida again with good field position. Play action by Grossman. Swings it out here and has it complete to Troop, his tight end. And that'll be a 
short gain. Tackled by Lionel Turner. Yep. Pushed out of bounds, actually. That's Ben Troop's uh, sixth catch of the year. He also alternates behind Aaron Walker, who I think is the, one of the best tight ends in the country. He is a good-looking prospect at 6'6", 261 pounds. And he can run. Watching him in practice on Thursday, and uh, he, you're right, he doesn't run like a large fellow. Second down, this is Graham. He'll turn it up, put a shoulder down, and he'll fight forward. That'll be enough for the first down. Well, I take that back. They have spotted him down, saying his knee touched. He's going to be very close, around the 42 and a half. Randall Gay defensively. Ernest Graham is averaging 87 yards rushing in each game this year. Lowers his head, gives his shoulder right to Randall Gay. May have got a bad spot. But a tough runner. And uh, when you talk to his coaches, Ed Zombrecker says he's a quiet warrior and he'll tell us his ankle's fine. We know it's hurting him, but he's <laughs> not coming out. He's a very stockily built young man, 5'9", 215. And Florida now calls a timeout. So we'll take a break at 7.57. Left of the opening quarter, still no score. Pickoff and the last five quarters by Rex Grossman. I keep 
thinking about Michael Clayton. This would be a good time to try him out. You go on top with him, and he's, he's number, turnover, yep. He's number 14. Uh -huh. They go with the running play, though. Wow, hit in the backfield. Bouncing off is Adai, and he'll get it to the 49-yard line. Let's check with Reese. All right, Ron, elsewhere in the SEC. Boy, you know what? Kentucky not eligible for the conference championship game because of probation, but they're playing great football. Against South Carolina, the battleship Lorenzen, the Tommy Coach, who's a left straight completion, passed up by 10 at the half.
and Chevy. And the two passenger vans. How low will we go? You owe it to yourself to come see a Salisbury Dodge City used car. Our lifetime is full of important memories. Memories that need to be captured, shared, enjoyed, and preserved. That's why you trust your memories to Kader's. Introducing Mitsubishi's new 2003 line of high-definition big screen. And exclusively at Kader's, Mitsubishi's best, the Diamond Series. Value and trust from the people who know. Kader's. The choice is clear. Welcome back to Gainesville. Concern in Gatorland this week that the fun and gun offense is fun and gone. QB Rex Grossman taking a lot of heat, but he really stood up this week, guys, and handled it like a true leader. Predicted a big game for himself, but also admitted, hey, I need to do a better job getting our team out of bad plays at the line of scrimmage, adjusting some of our blocking schemes, and finding and hitting that open receiver. Some have even gone as far as to say that the Florida offense is getting, dare we say, predictable. So look for a new wrinkle probably on this series as they try and get their tight ends more involved this week. Ron, their tight ends have all of three receptions in their last three games. Ron, I, I look at this offense. They, they were moving the ball, and uh, Rex Grossman made a bad throw on that play. So I, I still think this is a pretty good offense. They just need to get everything together. Here's the kick at the two-yard line, and Rand Carpenter. 25, he'll take it out over the 30 to about the 32-yard line. Here's a reminder, it's uh, Sunday Night Football on ESPN at 8.30 Eastern. Coverage begins with NFL Primetime, presented by Miller Lite at 7.30 Eastern. It's an AFC showdown. Ricky Williams and the Miami Dolphins head west to take on Brian Greasy and the Denver Broncos. Don't miss Sunday Night uh, NFL Football, beginning at 7.30. Ron, do you realize I watch every Denver game because Marcy is a Bronco fan, been a Bronco fan, my daughter, but she likes Ed McCaffrey, and uh, he had six catches last week, 13 yards. She likes the right guy. Oh, there. He's a steady player. <laughs> he really is. Graham and Carthon lining up in the backfield this time. They got to find a way to run the football. Now they fake it to Graham. Sets. Now delivers. Got a man open and he overthrows Taylor Jacobs. When you look at Rex Grossman this year, six games, and, and again, uh, stats are deceiving sometimes. In 2001, he had 22 touchdowns, seven interceptions. He's 10 and 10 right now. But the offensive line of Florida is the problem, and uh, they don't allow you to do a lot of things. Well, the youth up there certainly has been a problem. Jorgensen having to go with center tonight. DeGory moves over to left guard. He normally is the anchor guy in the middle. There's a good example right there. Penetration by LSU. Brady James and Lionel Turner getting the penetration. And I don't care how good a back you are or a quarterback. Can't get much done when, uh, when you're leaking like a sieve. And that's what they did on this play right here. And Look. Ron, you're going to see just a, a, a missed block. And I saw so many missed blocks the other day when I was watching tape. And that was Lionel Turner came through number 58, Scott Free. Third down, and they need about 11 yards to pick up the first. LSU showing blitz, and they come off of it. You see Brady James in the middle signaling. Come off what they had called, and they'll go with a rush for the four-down lineman. Pass to the near sideline. Intercepted by Corey Webster, his second. He gets a block, and he's going to take it in. He will score.
choice introduces everything you love about a grilled meal without the grill. New Healthy Choice Mixed Grills. Tender chunks of grilled chicken with seared in flavor, tangy barbecue dipping sauce, and crisp vegetables. A delicious way to eat healthy. Real food and plenty of it. Just the way I like it. Grilled. Six new mixed grills. From Healthy Choice. Billy Mays here with an amazing new product. You gotta see it to believe it. It's called the Ding King. What do you do when you get a dent or a ding in your car? Up until now, you either had to drive around that way or spend hundreds of dollars to have it fixed. Not anymore. The Ding King gives you the power to remove that dent or ding in minutes. Simply apply the special bonding agent to the super strong dent puller and place it firmly in the middle of the dent. Now fit the pulling bridge over it and twist on this special wing nut. It's like dialing the dent away. You see it happen instantly, right before your eyes. Like magic, the dent is gone. The Ding King is yours for only $29.95, but you gotta call now. Here's how to order. To order your Ding King for only $29.95 plus $5.95 shipping and handling, call 1-800-509-5858 or send check or money order to Ding King, 2 Morgan Avenue, Norwalk, Connecticut, 06851. Ron, here's what Rex Grossman sees. He thinks it's man-free, and all of a sudden, Prasso, he's going to get Taylor Jacobs on a deep route. But all of a sudden, you see, all of a sudden, LSU, all the hands up, now they back off. So now they're playing a deep zone. Now you're throwing the deep route into a deep zone. He's wide open uh, for the interception. So they baited them into a call where they thought it was going to be a blitz, and they, they had the fade. Well, this kickoff is going to go five yards deep into the end zone, and the Gators will come back out on offense, uh, and uh, they'll take it over at the 20. Reese Davis has checked with you. Well, another team that was in a big hole, USC against Cal. It was 21-3. Carson Palmer threw a touchdown pass, made it 21-10, and then he threw another. This one to Mike Williams, the freshman, the big fella, breaking tackles and scoring, and Trojans getting back in at 21-17. Texas Tech, Iowa State, a little defense being played. They're about to go to the half. Nothing on the board but field goals so far. All righty. Tell you what, the, uh, the Pac-10, the opposite of what happened last year. They're playing Matador defense again, Mike. <laughs> yeah, with the red uh, tower or whatever. I'll tell you what, it's, uh, they are scoring a lot of points, and I don't think it's just necessarily strong offenses. Lack of defense. Carthon. And nothing to the left. He'll bounce it out to the right. Hit first by Marcus Spears. And the home folks are getting a little bit restless here. Well, they they could become a lynch mob here uh, before long, but uh, they they got to have patience. This is, a, as I, I said before, this ball club, when you look at this offensive line, everything starts with this. And uh, they have to do a better job to give Rex Grossman some time. But his two errant throws have really uh, hurt this team tonight. Under three minutes to play, opening quarter. Grossman for the shotgun. Gets out of bounds, and he'll lose yardage on that one. Marcus Spears again with pressure. And you can hear a smattering of booze coming from the crowd. It's going to be a third down and very long. And you know, Mike, we, we talk, we use the term all the time, but it is so true. When you play behind the chains constantly, and you're playing a defense that is ranked number one in the nation, wow, you're just sticking your chin out and asking to get it knocked off, aren't you? Yeah, and, you, and, and again, two mistakes have given uh, ten points away, and you blow a chance when you had the fake field go wide open for the touchdown, so things have not gone well for them in the first quarter. Third down, we'll call it a dozen. Safety blitz coming from uh, deep, and he'll stay with it. They pick him up. Pressure on Grossman right over the middle, and Jacobs drops it. Jacobs was coming back to make the catch, and aesthetically it might have left a little bit to be desired, but it would have been a first down. Ron, if they pick up one block, Ray Carthen picks up this block right here. They get this pass off, and they get the first down. That's Randall Gay. Not too sure he didn't get a little bit of that no, ball. Yeah, then in the missed block, and that's why I say they're like a typewriter right now. When the offensive line gets a block, then Carthon misses his. Here's the punt, wobbly spiral. On the run at the 50, catch is made by Davis. And Davis 
still on his feet. Hurdles the man, 35, inside the 30. And look at this field position. Well, they're going to lose it. There's two flags back at the 44-yard line. And this one's going to come back. LSU is going to scrimmage, still with very good field position. Ron, I thought I saw a block in the back by number 27. 33 on the kick and 23 on the return. Eric Alexander. And again, still LSU with good field position. As you see him come down the football field, there's the block in the back. Which opened Dominic Davis, who, who doesn't need a block in the back. He's one of the best punt returners in the country. Yep. So, the ball has moved back to the 46. Goes without saying, still outstanding field position for Matt Mott and the LSU offensive team.
What do you think? I got that insurance or something? What? He puts money in your wallet in case you're like, flat on your back? Never heard of it. Well, you can get it at work. Get what? What's with the old geezer? Teddy says if I marry him, I can get all my calls for a dollar. You don't have to make a commitment to get a great rate on calls. I don't? Just dial 10, 10, 2, 20. All calls up to 20 minutes or 99 cents. And 7 cents a minute after 20. 10, 10, 2, 20 is cheap. With no commitment. <laughs> Thanks, boy. I'll she kiss you. Chicks dig me. Dial 10, 10, 2, 20. Then 1 and the number. Man, Zeno's jersey smells rank. Ooh. You need to wash it. You can't wash it. It's his lucky jersey. What about the streak? Just wash it. Um, Steve, we have a problem.
you never have a chance to get this pass off. NC State. How about Chuck? Chuck Amato's team. Chuck and Duck. He's, yeah. he's got him going. He's the arch rival. LSU shows blitz, and here they come. Right up the middle. On cuts. Grossman gets away from the tackler and throws it complete to Jacob.
receivers, and they have moved them because of their speed and athletic ability into the secondary. Ingle Martin, who's the number two quarterback for Florida, will kick it away. Second kick of the night. And it's going to bound right back into from the sideline back into the field of play. It's a 29-yard kick. Let's take a timeout. 13 to nothing to LSU. Today, seems like everybody's getting back to nature. Nice to know some of us never left. Come on already. Why is it taking so long? Pushing a button won't help. Shh, shh, it's coming. <sighs> this is so frustrating. It's even worse than the elevator. Tired of waiting on the internet? Move to Earthlink. You'll get online quicker and stay on with fewer drop-offs, pop-ups, and spam. Okay, you want to sit here and try it? No, I don't want to sit here and try it. I just want it to work. Why wait? Move to Earthlink and get your first thousand hours free. Call 1-800-EARTHLINK. Believe me, I'm in this place like the back of my hand. The Saturn View comes standard with four-wheel independent suspension. This is it. You're going to love it. folding rear seats for more cargo space. Excuse me. Check it out. Cannonball! And dent-resistant side panels. I'm cool. The Saturn View. Get in, get away. Get the 2003 Saturn View for 0% APR for five years. For restrictions, see your retailer. Kirk, you can take the helmet off. Whenever you're ready. Mind if I stand? Yo! I'll get it. You guys getting this? Or what? Send in your one-minute audition tape to the Discover card. Gets you on Game Day Challenge. If you win, you'll appear on College Game Day and go to the BCS National Championship. Visit your local Best Buy for details. That's a great shot from outside the stadium. And uh, by the way, that camera set up on the Emerson Alumni Hall. A beautiful complex here in Gainesville. Right now, 12.09 to play as you look inside the arena. 13 to nothing, the LSU Tigers. And the defense has really been devastating on this offense of the Gators. Yeah, well, I was just thinking, Ron, that off, when your offense is playing so poorly, your defense got to come up with a turnover. Play action. Got his tight end, throws it to Edwards. The ball is tipped, and he can't get back to it. And let's check again with Reese Davis. All right, Ron, and Notre Dame remains perfect by the hair of his chinny chin chin again against Pittsburgh. Panthers gave him a fight. This is Carlisle Holiday back in there throwing a nice ball. Ron has battle, went over 100 yards receiving. Don't forget, Notre Dame's got Air Force coming up next. It'll be on the family of networks next Saturday night. And, of course, Air Force coming up on the news at 10 o'clock tonight against Brigham Young. See what the Air Force offense has, uh, has been really, really good. Two tight ends, Robinson and Edwards, on the second down and long. This running play is not going to go very far as Nateel is the first man to get through on a die. Looking at Dominic Davis. Adai now takes the place of Tokyo because they split time. 57 rushes compared to 66. And Dominic Davis needs a second tailback because he does so much in the kicking game. So Adai really has to perform big to replace Tokyo. Davis on the sideline. The head coach said it himself. He said, we don't want Davis getting hurt. We plan our offense around a one-two punch. That's the reason Joseph is going to play a lot. The shotgun. Pass deep over the middle, and it's incomplete. The collision really had nothing to do with the fact Henderson could have uh, caught the ball or not. Good series by the Florida defense. Now Scott with pressure, Mike. And they should end up with pretty good field position, barring a booming kick. Good double coverage by Florida. Jones to kick. Ratliff is the man back deep. Good round of applause for the defense here in Gainesville. Pressure at the middle, and boy, they almost got that thing. Bounding at the 
to 40. And Ratliff's going to run away from it, and they will touch it dead at the 47-yard line. 38 yards and a kick, and we'll take a break. 11 minutes exactly, left until halftime. Stamps. At supermarkets. Stamps. By phone. Stamps. Online. Stamps. At ATMs. Along with your local post office. Wherever you find this symbol, you'll find stamps. Conveniently located. Brought to you by the United States Postal Service. Believe me, I know this place like the back of my hand. The Saturn View comes standard with four-wheel independent suspension. This is it. You're going to love Split it. folding rear seats for more cargo space. Excuse me. Check it out. Resistance side panels. I'm cool. <laughs> the Saturn View. Get in, get away. Get the 2003 Saturn View for 0% APR for five years. For restrictions, see your retailer. Sombrek 
Parker trying to get a tempo set. Original and 
entertainment uh, the season in SEC football. Uh, Thursday night at midnight, over the course of the season, we'll take a behind-the-scenes look at the SEC teams at home and finish out the season with the SEC championship. This Thursday, it'll be the Kentucky Wildcats as they prepare for the South Carolina Gamecocks. You'll be able to see the game plan that they're performing tonight against South Carolina. Now, and they're off to a good we, start. The last score we saw was 10 to nothing. Yeah. I wouldn't count out Blue Holtz in South Carolina. 10 to 3, we understand the yeah. score now. And just That's started the fourth quarter. of Demetrius Hookman, and Hook disappeared. 
Now they're going to try to run the ball with two tight ends. Oh, she's creeping the safety up, and then they back off on it. They'll go with the run right up the middle, big opening. That's going to be a gain of close to eight yards on that play. Damian James makes the stop on Rand Carthon. Jonathan Cullen with the, with a nice block. Of the a lot play. of a lot of times when you look at the one back when he moves up, it's going to be a pass for Florida. Carthon now the one back. Florida spelling, is spelling Mike, a cramp. Right. As Florida, as Mike said, uh, getting the play in and getting set and running the play quicker than they were. Carthon again. And they take it to the left, and as he falls his way close to the first down, not going to have it. Damian James will make the stop. He'll have about a half yard to pick up. Now, Florida's got to take advantage of Damian James coming up like he comes up against two tight ends. There's got to be some way of faking that run and trying to throw the post behind Damian James because he's too far up there and too fast in run support. Now here are the third down conversions. Tigers one of seven, Florida five of nine. Clock runs four minutes, 40 seconds left until intermission. Really green in the backfield with Carthon this time. Third down and short. I go play action. Going to go on top. Taylor Jacobs thrown about, wow, that's a, off about five yards to his right. Randall gave it the cover, but it really didn't matter. That was truly an errant throw by Rex Grossman. Now Rex Grossman's going to try to hit Taylor Jacobs, but he never gave him a chance to catch the football. See, he's looking over the inside shoulder, and the ball is being thrown over the outside shoulder. Far away from him. Engel Martin to kick it away. Third time that he will punt it tonight. That'll help you on short yardage next time. Here's his kick. Wobbly spiral. Semi off the side of his foot. Now takes a big board to bounce. And it's going to roll dead at around the 20-yard line. And the answer to tonight's Aflac trivia question, who was the LSU head coach the last time the Tigers beat Florida here in Gainesville? The answer is Bill Arnsbarger, 1986. And after that, Arnsbarger left LSU after that season to become Florida's athletic director. Yeah, and Bill Arnsberger's uh, not only a good football coach, but he's a good man. And... Uh, Really a low-key guy that uh, was a very good football coach. And, uh, people who worked under him and players who played for him have high respect for him, the man. Mock gives the ball. Davis right up the middle. Going to go for short yardage. Reese Davis will check with you again. All right, in the bluegrass, South Carolina and Kentucky. Corey Jenkins has had a little bit of a problem putting the ball on the ground. They're deep in the red zone. Second down play in Jenkins. Escapes one tackle, but as he's headed to the house, it gets loose. That's all right. Big Watt Sanderson is there to cover it up for the game. Cox and they've got things locked up at 10. In case you're just joining us, miss what happened this afternoon. This is why this game is so important for Florida. The dog beat Tennessee by Cox. Our situation, 13 to 7. The Tigers of LSU lead it. Here comes the pressure. They set the middle screen to Davis. And it's going to be a gain of short yardage. Hardman and also Natila there, and an observation on that, you do that thing so high, it gave that defense an opportunity, it was like a parachute, it <laughs> gave them an opportunity to come over and react quicker. Yeah, they really did react to uh, Florida's defense, talked about it in the first quarter, very good afoot. Third down, Tigers need to take it to their own 31. Ron, you, we, Clayton has been silent for a while, he's on the inside receiver, they're going to move him. See if we try to go to him. That's the direction Mock is looking in from, and it is checked up, almost intercepted. Oh boy, Cromarty almost had the gift. And Florida knew they were going to try to get the ball to Michael Clayton too. Michael Clayton with an out route and works back in, a hairpin route. Gus Scott, pretty good shape on him. Matt Mock staring him down and almost the pick. Ratliff, the deep man. High hanging spiral. This one's a beauty. All the way back to the 25. Going to take it to the 31. So a really nice 
kick 51 on the punt and six on the return. And Reese Davis, what do you got for us? Well, Ron, I checked on that wind for you, and Ames is gusting up to about 20 miles per hour. Seneca Wallace is able to complete a couple of passes and get some close against Texas Tech. Seneca Wallace, oh, he's running the wrong way. It appears Seneca Wallace is in trouble. It appears that Seneca Wallace is out of trouble. Watch the clock. Hello! Seneca Wallace into the house in the cyclone on top. Texas Tech 10 to 3 on a scintillating run. First touchdown of the game. Breeze, I can tell you, after doing a lot of basketball up there, if it's 20 miles an hour in that stadium, it's like 40 because there's nothing to stop it. There are not a lot of trees outside either end zone. 13 to 7, our score. Swing pass, Ernest Graham back to the lineup. And he is going to be hit after a short game. They'll stop him at the 35. Kendrick Allen, and we're glad that he's back in the lineup and uh, healthy enough to play. You know what's impressive about Reese Davis? He's a weatherman, too. Uh, you, you ask hey. for the weather, he gives it to you. Total trickeration. Yeah, I mean, he, he football, baseball. I think he does boxing. Now he's a weatherman. Time of possession. Almost even. They roll the pocket to the other side. He's going to go long. Had a little stop and go. And Jacobs was out there, and then they started getting some help from the top. LSU is playing the sprint out game very well. They're sitting on it. There's not much open. Taylor Jacobs with a stop and go. But pretty good coverage. Uh, Lando Gay, a junior.
seconds on the clock and we'll take the break with them. 13-7 Tigers right back with more from Gainesville. Kentucky is 
been playing tough. Up in the bluegrass, on probation, Guy Morris has him going. The battleship Lorenzen to Tommy Cook for the touchdown. And Kentucky built the lead in this game, but Lou holds the team hanging around. They recovered a fumble in the end zone. They tied up at 10, and they just scored seconds ago. Ryan Brewer, it looks like, just went into the end zone for the Gamecock. 16-10, the extra point is pending. And boy, look what Arkansas did to Auburn after that sixth overtime loss to Kentucky. They destroyed the Tigers 38-17. Yeah, old Tally had a nice day, huh? 241 yards rushing Arkansas, clearly with no hangover after that big, long game to Tennessee. All that talk about Cadillac Williams, and you can understand why, but Tally, he looks like a luxury ride today. <laughs> 241. And speaking of luxury rides, Willis McGahee is one, but he came right down to the end. Which way did that kick go again? Left. Around the Horn, weekdays at 5 on ESPN. Believe me, I know this place like the back of my hand. The Saturn View comes standard with four-wheel independent suspension. Uh, this is it. You're going to love it. folding rear seats for more cargo space. Excuse me. Check it out. And dent-resistant side panels. I'm cool. The Saturn View. Get in, get away. Get the 2003 Saturn View for 0% APR for five years. For restrictions, see your retailer. This is big. At McDonald's, we love to see you smile. So we're offering the big and tasty extra value meal for $2.99. $2.99 for a sizzling beef patty plus all the fixings with medium golden brown fries and a drink. Great food at a great price.
wind at 20 mile per hour wind. It feels like 40. It feels like there are no trees around. It's wide open in the Pack plate. Can't stop it. A little trick -ration. Ryan Aycock off to the races. Finally tackled down the Cyclone 37. It will lead to a field goal that had this thing tied up. Seneca Wallace, who only had about 30 yards passing before this. This, this is the wow factor that makes you a high spin fan. Absolutely. With everything that tells that's happened today, look at this play right here. This is the highlight play of Heisman guy's life. Huge block there. Seneca Michael Wallace. Wagner coming up with that block, and Wallace with a brilliant run to put the Cyclones on top. But then look at the Kingsbury. He's not known for running, but he goes over the top. And we're about halfway through the third at Jack Fry Stadium, and the Red Raiders and Cyclones. You're also figuring out, Reese, that Iowa State has a pretty darn good defense. After Cliff Kingsbury did that to A&M's defense, Iowa State, not a bad defense Great. at all. 21st in the nation. They haven't gotten a lot of attention, but they played very well against Kingsbury in that high-powered passing attack. In the SEC, Tennessee and Georgia and the Vols in a world of hurt because Casey Clawson couldn't go with that bad shoulder. James Banks, Derek Tensley, a little halfback pass. Good shot. Tensley to Jason Witten. Tennessee wants down 18-0. Cut this thing back to 18-13. Now, buck 43 to go. Georgia with a fourth and two. They're on the 35, sort of no man's land, so Rick decided to go for it, and the redshirt freshman, Tony Milton, rips off 25 yards and seals the deal for the dogs, and Georgia remains unbeaten. They take care of Tennessee, no caution in this game, and not much of a passing attack. 18 to 13, the final. Jabari Davis with 65 yards. Musa Smith didn't get a lot of yards on the ground, but once again, Georgia does what it has to do to win the football game. Trev, let's go back now to the showdown in the Cotton Bowl. And once again, a familiar script. The knock has been Chris Sims can't win the big one. Whether that's fair or not, the knock has been Mac Brown can't get it done. Whether that's fair or not, it happened again. Oklahoma won the game. People will question Mac Brown and say, is this, you know, can he win a big game? Bottom line to me is the most difficult job Mac Brown will have is not answering the questions about this loss to Oklahoma. It's next week. They go to Kansas State. The toughest job he's going to have coaching is getting his football team ready for Kansas State because that's a good football team. And then they get Iowa State. It doesn't get easy. That is true, but they might be able to look back to last year. They lost this game a year ago, still wound up in the Big 12 championship game and in a conference like the Big 12. A lot of balance, a lot of opportunities to stub your toe. Got more coming on ESPN. Down in the SEC, this has been a terrific series so far. The season, a look behind the scenes. In SEC football, you get to go places you ordinarily wouldn't get to go as a fan. Thursday night, midnight Eastern time. You'll want to check it out here on ESPN. Boy, we've got a little SEC barn burner brewing. That was not Rex Gross's best pass. Webster a little pick six. The Bayou Bengals up by six and six. Believe me, I know this place like the back of my hand. The Saturn View comes standard with four-wheel independent suspension. This is it. You're going to love it. folding rear seats for more cargo space. Excuse me. Check it out. Resistance side panels. I'm cool. The Saturn View. Get in, get away. Get the 2003 Saturn View for 0% APR for five years. For restrictions, see your retailer. Taco Bell's grilled steak taco tastes so authentic, you may pull a grilled steak switch out. So you like carne asada steak? Yeah. Great. Got some out on the grill.
Pittsburgh and Rutherford falls short. 14 to 6 the final. It's not ironic anymore. I mean, Pitt had 402 yards, but Notre Dame forces turnovers. They get after people. It's about defense for Notre Dame. For three turnovers, Notre Dame unbeaten going into the Air Force game. We've got an Air Force coming up later tonight. Penn State and Michigan. This was a thriller. Zia Combs trying to down the punt. Slides with Ernest Shazer and is down. Combs looked to be hurt very badly. Fortunately, they're saying he has full movement. They say no broken bones, and we are delighted, delighted to hear that bit of news. 14-13 game, Michigan on top. Zach Mills, the Brian Johnson. Zach Mills, 19-31, 264 yards. A couple of touchdowns, including that one there. The conversion right there after his touchdown. Then on a third and goal, 21-14. John Navarre throwing it into the end zone. Braylon Edwards, second of the day. We went into overtime. Penn State's up three. Chris Perry with the touchdown and Michigan takes care of it. 27-24 Wolverines become the first team since Army to win six straight over Penn State. Ohio State had no trouble stepping out of conference. 50 to 7. Claret three touchdowns on the ground and Krenzel three through the air. And we saw earlier on ESPN. Michigan State and Iowa. Iowa has made so many plays in the kicking game, and Jamel Lewis doing it here. Well, you look at it, Jamel Lewis is a fast player, but look, nobody's even close to him. That's good blocking by the kick return team. Easy touchdown, 94 yards. Has anyone mentioned that Iowa has the second worst pass defense in the country? Iowa has the second worst pass defense in the country. Of course, that can change. Jeff Smoker picked off by Derek Pagel, 62 yards. Came up. Turnovers in the past, he says Bob Sanders laying a hat on people, and Iowa blows out Bobby Williams' team, 44-16. to 16. The final, by the way, Charles Rogers, no touchdown catches in this game. That snapped his record streak of 13 consecutive games with a touchdown catch. Wisconsin had a 29-10 lead and blew it against Indiana, 32-29. to 29. In the final, Jabron Hamden threw for over 300 yards and four touchdowns in that one. North Carolina, North Carolina State. Wolfpack had trouble for a while, but T.A. McClendon, two more touchdowns, 164 on the ground. The Wolfpack, they remain unbeaten. They are 7-0. They've got Duke coming in for Carter Finley next week. We've got the pro football coming your way. Sunday night version, the Dolphins and the Broncos. Ricky Williams has been outstanding. He's a difference for that team. Jay Fiedler is a good quarterback when he has a good running game. He's got a good running game. If Ricky and company can get it going for Denver, 8.30 Eastern time. You'll check it out. Of course, Boomer and TJ with prime time. Gets it started at 7.30 Eastern time. Our first half, LSU and Florida. Rex and Taylor Jacobs. They got the Gators on the board. They're down six at the break. We're back to tight ten. Without a Yamaha ATV, you're not going very far. The Grizzly 660 Automatic from Yamaha. The only ATV with push-button front diff lock and four-wheel independent suspension. The Grizzly 660 Automatic. Where you go now is up to you. Now get a worn winch with select models plus 0% financing on every Yamaha ATV. Single, good. Double, really, really good. Which is why Bounty also comes double quilted. Double quilting in every sheet. Double the cleaning power. To do jobs you never thought a paper towel could do. And double the sheets. So every roll does a lot more jobs. Likely said, double. Really, really good. The quilted quicker picker offer. Bounty double quilted.
Repair Tire Company offers a full range of auto repair services and quality tires. We now offer the high mileage, fuel efficient Toyo tires. The new Toyo 800 Ultra with a 100,000 mile limited warranty may even outlast your vehicle. Treads and Care Tire Company has five convenient locations to better serve local families. For quality Toyo tires and other great values, Treads and Care Tire Company has the tires you need and the service you want. Report presented by Saturn and its redesigned L series, the Saturn View, and coming this fall, the new Ion. And the Pac-10, Rose Bowl, Oregon, and UCLA. Of course, Oregon recruits very well in California. Keenan Howard, he's a California kid, and he enjoys return to his home state and return of the punt. 79 yards. Duck taking his 21-14 lead. Great downfield block. You see it week in and week out. Here is Jason Fife, Deputy Fife, with many bullets in his gun, and one that looks for Howery here, another big play. You understand why that's a good play. Jason Fife wanted to go outside to the left, came back to the right, found Keenan Howery, 34 yards, touchdown. UCLA had missed an extra point. Oregon went up there, and they missed the field goal for the second straight year that would have won the game, and for the second straight year, the Bruins fall by a single. Boy, Stanford just looks awful, and Washington State looks pretty good. 6-1, unbeaten in the Pac-10, Gesser for nearly 300, 36-11 the final. Arizona, for the second straight year, gives Washington a fight in Seattle, but Cody Pickett and company prevail. A huge day for Reggie Williams, 184 yards and three touchdowns receiving. Jason Johnson went well over 400. And SC and Cal, it's been a great game, six-point game at the moment. Kansas State and Oklahoma State, the Wildcats roll 44-9. L. Roberson with nearly 300 yards of total offense in that game. Marshall got 447 from Byron Leftwich in the first half. They roll over Buffalo and Bowling Green. Remains unbeaten. Here's 10-point winner over Central Michigan. Down at the Swamp, they're being entertained by the halftime show. They would by like the only to entertainment. Well, they'd like to be entertained by the second half and a little offense. We'll get you back down to Gainesville in a bit. Believe me, I know this place like the back of my hand. The Saturn View comes standard with four-wheel independent suspension.
what they did well in the first half is they attacked the linebackers of LSU.
that's a tough loss. I know they've got two very good backs behind Tofio, but Tofio is the kind of guy that can light you up and get your team going in the running game.
is the one that is consistently eating Florida up. Yeah, it's a single wing play, Ron. All of a sudden, your quarterback becomes an extra running back. Hardman, the linebacker, middle linebacker, number 42, takes on two blockers to try to get to Matt Moss, but he's unable to stop him from picking up the first down. You can see 73, Rob Sale, the senior out of Monroe, and also Solomon Lee, senior out of Bastrop. Out front blocking. Davis again, right up the middle, and the workhorse will take it for a gain of four. Hartman again making the stop for the Gators. This has been a Matt Moss drive, the big plays. Here's Hartman again, the middle linebacker. you got to make plays if you're in the middle linebacker position. Makes the tackle on Dominic Davis. But this has been a series that Matt Mock has come up big. 11th play of the drive, coming up right here.
with a good call because they got to tight end and back to the flip side right here. All of a sudden now you're going to get this receiver over here on the screen. Three against two. Henderson gets the ball. No pressure on him once he gets the football able to get in the end zone. A very good call by Jimbo Fisher anticipating the blitz in the right call. Matt Mock on the far sideline talking with uh, Jimbo right now. You know, Mike, I'm not sure Jimbo Fisher gets the acclaim that maybe he should. He's still a young coach, but he is very good as an offensive coordinator. That ball is fumbled and picked up, and a tackle is going to be made. It's going to be on the one-yard line. Yep. Bazon. Is 
hit and finally stopped at the 25-yard line and will take a timeout. Tigers 20-7, and I'll tell you, they are threatening again. Stamps. At Supermarket.
Hey, it's just in time for hunting season. Buckshot Mud Grip Tires on sale. Warren Witches, 8,000 pounds, just $699.95. You save $100. And check out more Warren products on sale right now at Kurtz. 9555 Airline Highway or online at KurtzFX.com. Kurtz well, if you just joined us, that is the story. The LSU Tigers, the number one defense in the country, getting 10 points off turnovers in the first quarter alone. They built that lead to 13 to nothing. Then the Gators came back and made it 13 to 7. And I mean, here in the second half, it has been all LSU Tigers. Well, they had them stopped, if you remember correctly, in the third quarter. But Matt Mock is really has been the player of the game. He has thrown the ball well. He's run the ball well. This guy is graduating to be a very fine quarterback. Here comes the kick. This one returnable. Up the five-yard line of Kelvin Kite. A block in front. Look out. 30 and out to the 35-yard line. They'll have good field position to work from. So let's take a look at the Pennzoil storyline. Mock, 11 of 18, 157. Two touchdowns. Has rushed for 68. That's a career high. Grossman, 12 of 29, 118. A touchdown and two picks. And turnovers, LSU none, and Florida two. Yeah, Mock has outplayed uh, Rex Grossman uh, in the battle of the quarterbacks tonight. And, you know, when you talk about Matt Mock around the country, everybody says, well, they got that quarterback who can't throw the ball. Forget it. He can throw and he can run. Ernest Graham right up the middle. He's going to ramble for 10 yards, counted off at 11. He'll take it to the 46. Randall Gay is the man who's there to make the stop. And, and, and number five, Ron, will not quit on you. You're stealing yeah, my yeah, thoughts. Yeah. He will. He, we talked about him being a warrior. He is a winner. You want him on your football team. Clock running. We're now under four minutes left to play third quarter. Grossman fakes the run, pumps it, going to try to get him up on top. And the ball overthrown, a little miscommunication there is a tight is the man he was looking for. Rob Stone, let's go back to the sideline. What do you got? Ron, man, you read the nonverbals on the Florida sideline. This team is beaten. They came off the field, heads down. But the one guy who was upbeat, yeah, number eight, Rex Grossman, had the headset on the whole time. After that first LSU score, came right back, slapping his OL line, slapping his running back. He is upbeat. Remember, this is a guy who thinks he can throw a touchdown to every single pass play. Well, he better start throwing three pretty fast. Grossman in the third quarter, three of eight for 30 yards. Pressure coming up the middle. Oh, he gets belted as the pass is thrown incomplete. And Grossman is up, but Lionel Turner just, wow, he almost took his head off. We talked about this a couple weeks ago. I said I had a college football coach. His name was Earl Bentley. He used to say, quarterback can't throw laying on his back. And he used to always preach that to his defenses. You know what else, Mike? There are times also when the coaches say Rex gets a little hard-headed, you can get a pro call and have a tight end stay in there with you to help you block. And, but I tell you, you can't take many hits like that no. and, and make it. Eight hits tonight. On third down and ten. Sets in the pocket, drills this one, and incomplete is the ball. Well protected, you could see. Perez going up, but there were two defenders right there. Lejeune, one of them, and also James. The other thing that's happening, Ron, in, uh, is most of the throws are outside. Again, they, they attacked the linebackers early in the second quarter with some success, but these throws are out in the corners. Martin's kick, end over end. The run. Davis makes the catch. No fair catch. And he's only got one person to beat. He is caught from behind as he was trying to get by Martin. And LSU is going to take over again on the Florida side of the 50-yard line. 31 on the kick and 36 on the return. Carter finally made the tackle. Well, there's no sense in fair 
catching anyway in college football because the halo rule, you get the catch. Dominic Davis, he was not thinking fair catch. He's just roaring down the football field. It's pretty good to LSU football team on. Joseph Adai is the lone rep running back this time, and he put it in his stomach. He'll take it off the right tackle inside the 40 down to the 38. Tell you what, his average tonight is a late flag comes in. Adai's average per carry tonight might got to be between 7 and 8 yards. Yeah, and I like the, the fact that they uh, have confidence in him. I believe it's going to be called on Andrew Whitworth. Tell you what, he's 76. Six yards per try, six carries, 36, his total on the evening. Well, when you look at uh, Florida tonight, 118 yards passing. And when you look at LSU, 157 yards passing. There is no foul on the play. Whitworth, number 76, had a hold of him and uh, was continuing the blocks, and I think that's a good call. He died right up the middle. He puts a head down close to the first down. I don't think he has. He's going to miss it by about a half yard. Clint Mitchell is down at the bottom of that stack. Ron, watch a die here on this play. Watch him cut back. He's going to come in the frame. Now watch him cut back. And there's Clint Mitchell waiting for him. But that was the hold that he needed to hit. Good vision by the running back, the young running back. Clint Mitchell has had a good year. He's yeah. really a guy who's been the, the glue for this, uh, for this defense. Help him get better. Third down and short. They die right up the middle, and he's going to have the first down. Well, this one was a dangerous situation. You get eight or nine in the box, and if you break that first wave, it, it could be hello and goodbye quickly. Norwood made the tackle. Adai is just going to hit up in there, and you see the LSU offensive line open it up. Great camera work to show the first down. And what you were talking about, a chance to break it big. Rob Sale, Stephen Peterman. Woodworth over there on that side. Yeah, Wilkerson the center. Rodney Reed, offensive line, done a nice job for LSU. And the thing, what they're doing right now is just what they want to do. Keep the ball away from Florida's offense and run the clock. Quarterback draw. Hit behind the line of scrimmage. He may have gotten back to it. Well, it's Sunday night football on ESPN at 8.30 Eastern. And coverage begins with NFL primetime presented by Miller Lite. That's at 7.30. The Miami Dolphins uh, against the Denver Broncos. Battle of strength on strength. Sunday night beginning 7.30 Eastern time. Ron, you're talking about strength on strength. The uh, Miami and Dolphins rushing offense ranks third in the NFL. What do you think Denver gives up? They only give up 61 rushing yards a game. Ricky Williams got to give. Ricky Williams has lost 25 pounds, and it suits him just fine, doesn't it? Swing pass, got this one complete, and Henderson could not get loose. That's Ratliff, who took his feet right out from under it. Now they, they played that screen well. That was the screen pass that hit them for two touchdown passes. Henderson, Ratliff gets inside the block and makes the play. Third down, the Tigers need to take it to the Gator 21 yard line. Swings this one out, and Davis can go nowhere. Nice job by Ratliff. He is right there to make a nice one on one tackle. Hit by Clint Mitchell. So slow in getting up. There's a commercial break. That's the end of the third quarter. 26 to 7, the LSU Tigers. Around the Horn, weekdays at 5 on ESPN. I don't know how you do it. I really don't. I put together some really impressive deals. But this thing you pulled off, it's amazing.
A big and tasty for just a dollar? How do you do it? What's your secret? You're a man of few words. I like that. Got a buck? You're in luck. Because you can get a delicious, beefy, big and tasty for a McChicken sandwich for just a dollar. Every day. At McDonald's. Together, Grimace, we could own this town.
Eagles on that uh, LSU bench, and for good reason. Ron Reese did not listen to us last week. Matt Mock ought to get a football helmet tonight. They give him away about 1.30 in the morning. So they need to give Matt Mock one. He has played a great game at quarterback for LSU. Barbella with the kickoff, and it's a line drive, two yards deep in the end zone that will not be returned by Kite. And Reese Davis was checked back with you. Ron, I'll consider Mark strongly, but Seneca Wallace did some more business in this one. Probably the Heisman front runner in most eyes against Texas Tech, laying one up there to Lance Young, and Iowa State put this thing away late. Took care of the Red Raiders, 31 to 17, the final, and Cal. Go to touchdown late, couldn't get the onside kick. SC prevails by a deuce, 30 to 28. Wow. Ever since you said the wind was uh, blowing out the Iowa State, they just started rolling on the points. That's right, but they, they were running the ball primarily, weren't they? Yes. <laughs> Ernest Graham hit behind the line of scrimmage. He'll fight his way out to the 21. Randall Gay is the man who makes the hit. LSU under Saban, 23 and 1 when scoring 20 points or better. I go back to what I said off the top of the telecast. This LSU staff may have done as good or better job as anybody in the country last year. They got socked at home by LSU, uh, by uh, Ole Miss. They turned things around, and I'll tell you, Mike, at the end of the year, they beat some really good people that beat them soundly. Grossman, they pick up the blitz at the middle, and he throws a pick. Intercepted by Spears.
wonderful people. Academy Award winning director Jonathan Demme invites you to experience a mystery where everyone <gasps> is a suspect. I'm on your side. No one can be trusted. And the fun Ooh. is uncovering the truth. This is a delicate operation. I get it. The truth about Charlie. Rated PG-13 starts October 25th. Take the floor to bounce, and now we'll stop it around the 
40 yard line. 38 yards and a kick will go away for a moment. The LSU Tigers with it well in hand. Stamps. At supermarkets. Stamps. By phone. Stamps. Online. Stamps. At ATMs. Along with your local post office. Wherever you find this symbol, you'll find stamps. Conveniently located. Brought to you by the United States Postal Service. Professionals at All-Star Chevrolet were full of good information. No pressure, just the facts, and there was a lot to consider. Trade-in values, financing options. The different features on the SUV I was looking at. I was impressed with their scope of knowledge about all the All-Star products. I drove away feeling like I'd made a great decision. And in a wonderful new Suburban. Experience the All-Star treatment. We go out of our way to put you in the driver's seat. Choose All-Star, where the deals are sweet. If you don't find out how they're going to use it first. That's exactly what I told her, sir. Call or go online now and get a Dimension desktop for just $5.99 after a $50 instant savings. Featuring an Intel Pentium 4 processor for awesome performance for today's digital entertainment. Recording music, sharing photos, gaming, and beyond. Right now, you'll get a free digital camera. Get great deals on notebooks, too. Dude, you're getting a Dell. Hey, Mr. Reacher, I don't want to get anyone in trouble, but... Your perfect PC? It's easy as Dell. Dell PCs use Intel Pentium 4 processors. ESPN's College Football Saturday Night, presented by the United States Postal Service, and in part by Pennzoil. We're driving protection. Well, the, <laughs> even the uh, LSU Tiger clergy are, uh, <laughs> are excited about this one tonight. 36 to 7, they jumped out. And the defense set the tone in this football game in case you missed the early going. Mock will hand it off. And this is a die. He will take it across the 45 to the 47. Let's take a look at the schedule of Florida. They are home next week. In fact, we'll be here for the Auburn game. Then uh, they have got Georgia on November the 2nd and the cocktail party down in Jacksonville. We will be doing that one as well. Then uh, at Vanderbilt, South Carolina here and at Florida State. Doesn't get any easier with Auburn coming off the loss. Georgia sitting in pretty in the east. Boy, big opening for Davis. Inside the 45, still fighting, breaks away from the top of the look at this. He may score. Finally, he's going to be corralled. Inside at the 20 yard line, and my folks, my friends, 39 yards in the play, and that right there just sums up why LSU is winning this ball game and winning it big tonight. Yep. These kids have really come forth with an effort, they wanted real badly to win this football game. And Ron, you talked about it second half the defense being on the field, a lot of missed tackles. And when you get tired, you get lazy, and when you get lazy, you miss tackles. And that's not going to be something to, when the coaches, uh, John Thompson, the defensive coordinator, looks at that tape, he's going to grade those guys in on lack of effort. After 10 minutes to play in the ball game, and flags all over the place, a die had gotten the ball. Oh, that is just really a super effort by Dominic Davis. You, Reese Davis, let's check back with you. 11 unbeaten teams all survived except Texas and Air Force in a battle with BYU right now. First and goal down 3 nothing to the Cougars. Chance Harris is going to punch that thing in there, and Air Force on top. Mountain West Rival by count of 7 to 3. And don't forget, next up for Air Force, Notre Dame. Next Saturday night on ESPN, the Fighting Irish once again prevail. Their defense carrying the day again 14 6 over Pittsburgh. Our situation here, the last four LSU possessions, three touchdowns, 20 points, and uh, one field goal. Great ahead with the carry. A die this time goes inside the 15. He's down to the 13. Travis Harris will make the tackle. That's a gain of 
seven, almost eight yards. This is the best team I've seen in the West. LSU, uh, by far. Here's their schedule. They got South Carolina coming to uh, LSU. Then they go to Auburn and Kentucky back-to-back. -back, and then they get the uh, Tide at home, Mississippi at home, and at Arkansas. But this team is rolling right now. They got a quarterback that's very confident, an offense that's confident, and a defense that plays hard. And very good in the special teams. Big opening to the left side. A die is going to be tackled. Actually, it closed up the hole quickly. It'll be third down at about six. Scott is there. Talking about the West standings now. LSU sitting in good shape. Ole Miss, 5-1 and one overall. David Cutcliffe's team won again today. Auburn, of course, lost a tough game to Arkansas. LSU sitting pretty. Runs now under eight minutes to play. LSU driving. It's a third down. They need to take it to the five and a half yard line. Matt Mark. This play right here, Mike talked about it. It's, it's the same thing as a single wing play. They block it well. You can see Peterman was out front blocking on that one. Scott finally made the tackle. Rule. This is not good news for LSU Tiger fans. As Moss comes limping. First of all, I wonder why he's in the game. Uh, because it's late in the football game, 7.24 on the clock. And you're ahead 36-7. to 7. I know he's inexperienced, so, so you want to get him a lot of time. But you also risk an injury. One thing about the SEC, I've noticed this over the years. They play one quarterback and one quarterback only. Uh, that's, the, that's the way it is done by... Almost every team. And he comes hobbling back out on the field. It is fourth down and short. Need about a foot or so. Here's a look at Marcus Randall, the sophomore out of Baton Rouge. He's the backup. Mock will limp back and hand it off to a die, and a die will have the first down. Dwight Jackson comes up to make the tackle, so a new set of downs, and this is going to take LSU, unless they score on the next couple of plays, this is going to take a, at least another two, two and a half minutes off that clock. And I think they are going to send Randall into the ball game. Yep, here he comes. And listen to the ovation from the LSU faithful as Mock comes off the field. He played a great game. Everything you could ask him to do tonight, he did it. No, they die their flags down. I thought we had a little move there. Maybe Solomon Lee, the fullback. Maybe Peterman, the left guard, 72.
minute mark that we will go under is the five minute mark. 5.20, and counting. First time since 1986 that the LSU Tigers have come in here to Gainesville and have won. And you're exactly right. Sports Center immediately following this one.
they only play five players. They, they don't have enough offensive linemen. They got to play them the whole way. That's right. They don't have a lot of reserve. And one of the things uh, we I ran into him up in Mobile at a charity event that you were having, and he said at that time one of his major concerns was the offensive line. Yeah, and it was uh, not good shape here offensive line wise. Dumps this out to Willie Green, and Willie's going to take it to the 23 for Brady James will make the tackle. We're about to go into three minutes left to play. Boy, there are not many folks left in this stadium. Now, the LSU fans, not a soul has left in uh, in their section. There are the Gator fans. Now you're moving into LSU territory, which is the end zone to our right. And I think everybody with purple and yellow that had a ticket, they're still there. They got a pass almost intercepted. Ben. I was going to say, Ron, they got a lot of Bob Euchre tickets there in the uh, top section. That happens when you're on the road in a conference game. They don't give you the best. But right now, those people don't really care. No, like they, me. Uh, this is a this is a really impressive win, and it's a very big momentum win for this football team and a new quarterback. I know he's not totally here, but still, he's I think that's the biggest thing that's going to come out of this game. Matt Bach is an established quarterback for his team. Willie Green on the option play, and Willie, I can't tell from where they have spotted that. I think he might have the first down.
we're both like giving back to the community. And we're both considered quite stylish. And we both believe that phone service should be simple. Oh yeah, like 10, 10, 220 is cheap whether you use it a little or a lot. 99 cents for all calls up to 20 minutes. And there are no monthly commitments. So you only pay for the calls you make. So, what do you think of the shirt? Too loud. What do you think of the shirt? Dial 10, 10, 220.